All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do our in cap inspection. So, the way that I'm gonna do it is the way that you guys have to do it in your pre trip inspection for the in cap so that you can pass your uh, exam. Okay, keep in mind that everything inside has to be the way that I do it, otherwise, I cannot guarantee that you will pass your test. So, we're gonna go ahead and put our seat belt on. Our seat belt latches on, it's tight and secure, not cracked or broken. And my seat belt has no tears, no, no, no cuts, no splits, and it's tight and secure to my truck. All right. Over here we have our three DOT triangles, not missing or broken, proper color, working good. All right, should be amber color. All right. Then over here we have our triangle, our um, fire extinguisher. Our fire extinguisher should be ABC. ABC means that it can turn off all kinds of fires. It should be fully charged and up to date and it should not be missing the safety pin. All right, so fully charged, up to date, and it's not missing the safety pin. In the glove compartment or somewhere in our truck, we should have six spare fuses, not missing or broken, good condition. Both mirrors should be adjusted to me, not cracked or broken, good condition, and our mirror brackets are tight and secure to our doors in good conditions, okay? And our windshield, no illegal stickers, there's no cracks, and my rubber seal is tight and secure, not dry rotted, no leaks, and it is tight and secure to my truck and to my glass itself, all right? Then we have our wiper blades. Our wiper blades are not missing, they're not broken, they're properly fitted and adjusted to my wing field, and they're not cracked or broken, no bends, no cracks, good condition, all right? Our floor should be clean and clear from any debris, no obstruction, no oil, no grease, and our wheel should have at least no more than two inches of play. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our safety start. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure you're in neutral, both brakes are engaged, and we're gonna go ahead and crank it on. The second you crank it on, you're gonna go ahead and see the ABS light turning on and off, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the ABS light. We missed it, but it was there. So our ABS light, proper color, working good. Then we have our emergency parking light, proper color, working good. So from there on, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the rest of the lights. So we have our buttons here, okay? Our high beams and our low beams, proper color, working good. Our four-way flashers, proper colors, working good. All right, over here we have our signals, our left signal and our right signal, proper colors and working good, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about our gauges. So we have our oil, our oil between 30 and 60. My DEF should be no less than half or it should be full, okay? Then we have over here our primary and our secondary tanks should have between, or should be between 120 and 140. And our coolant should be no more than 210, between 180 and 210, all right? So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it. My oil between 30 and 60, my DEF sh should be full, but no less than half, okay? Then we have our primary and secondary tanks between 120 and 140, okay? Between 120 and 140. And our water temperature between 180 and 210, but no more than 210, all right? So, once you're done talking about your lights and your gauges, you're gonna go ahead and talk about your wheel. Once again, doesn't hurt. No more than two inches of play. My city horn and my country horn working good. My windshield wipers are working good. They're not cracked or broken. They're functioning and they're working good. They don't sprinkle water. The water system is not working, it's not spraying. But my wiper blades are not missing, not torn or damaged, and they're tight and secure to my windshield, all right? So, and the little rubber on the wiper blades is in good condition, it's not dry rotted, it's not bent to crack, not leaning or missing, all right? So once we're done doing that, we're gonna go ahead and talk about our blower, our blower, our defrost, okay? And my heater, okay? Everything is working good, all right? Everything is working how it should be working. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our tuck test. So before you do your tuck test, you wanna make sure that you have 120 PSI in your primary and secondary tanks. So before
before you proceed, before you proceed, you're gonna go ahead and rebuild your air pressure to 120 till your governor cuts off. just cut off I don't know if you were able to hear it but once you get to 120 your governor should cut off so now we're gonna go ahead and perform the tuck test so remember guys when your trailer brakes and your tractor brakes are out that means they're engaged when they're in no brakes disengage okay so we're gonna leave our trailer brakes on and we're gonna release our tractor brakes okay so we're gonna go ahead and put it clutch in first gear okay release or clutch slowly once you feel your trailer or your truck is trying to move it's not gonna move because your trailer brakes are on so the way you do it is you lift up your clutch so you feel some vibration that means your tractor brakes I mean that means your uh, tractor is trying to move so that means our trailer brakes are working good now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna answer this before you guys before I continue yes you can leave it on first gear so you can just go ahead and do everything else. So now we're gonna go ahead and check our tractor brakes. So tractor brakes on, trailer brakes off. Okay, same procedure. First gear, release your clutch slowly. When you start feeling some vibration, like we just did right now, that means our tractor brakes are working good, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and check our service brakes. So before you check your service brakes, make sure that you release both brakes, okay? So remember guys, here in the school we have a lot of people walking around and we have cars in between here and there. So um, we're gonna go ahead and tell the examiner how we should perform our uh, service brake test. So the way you do it is, you're gonna put it in first gear, you're gonna release your clutch and you're gonna tell the examiner, Mr. Examiner, we should move five miles per hour and we should step in our brakes to make sure <clears throat> that our service brakes are working good and that our wheel doesn't pull to one side or the other. All right? So you guys are gonna explain to the examiner how it's done. You're not gonna physically do it for safety reasons, all right? So once you're done checking your service brakes, um, now we're gonna go ahead and check for leaks. But there's four important steps that you must do before you check for leaks, all right? So remember to put it back in neutral, all right? So step number one, you're gonna go ahead and engage both brakes. Step number two, you're gonna go ahead and rebuild your air pressure back to 120. Okay, back to 120, all right. Step three, you're gonna go ahead and release trailer and tractor brakes, okay. Step four, you're gonna go ahead and turn your engine off engine off you you're gonna wait for your gauges to go down and then ignition on or switch on okay and you're gonna wait for your needles to go back up and stabilize all right once your needles are stabilized now we're gonna go ahead and perform our um, leak test so the way you do that is you're gonna go ahead and get your timer on and before you press on your timer you're gonna tell the examiner mr. examiner now we're gonna test for leaks and we should not lose no more than four PSI in one minute. So you press your start button, start, and you step on your service brakes. You step on your service brakes for one minute. Once your minute has gone by, you're going to explain to the examiner that the truck has no leaks, but you're gonna keep an eye on your primary and your second uh, secondary tanks in the process of you checking for leaks. Okay, so once your minute has gone by and you see that you have no leaks, you're gonna tell the examiner, Mr. Examiner, my truck has no leaks, all right? But make sure you wait a full minute, okay? And make sure you're timing your minute properly, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and check the alarm system to make sure that it's working. So we're gonna go ahead and pump our brakes somewhere between 65 and 60 PSI and the alarm system should kick in. As you can see guys, my alarm system it's working good. I can see my lights. I cannot hear it, but I can see my alarm lights, okay? So, 
now we're gonna go ahead and pump our brakes below 30 psi and our emergency tractor brakes and trailer brakes should engage so you're gonna keep an eye over here there we go so my trailer and my tractor brakes are working good okay so now remember when you guys are checking this make sure that they both come out sometimes the red one's gonna come out first and then the other one then the white one if the white one doesn't come out just keep pumping your brakes till it comes out all right so i hope you guys like my videos and see you next time